Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a chilled, laid back, get ready with me video. I love these types of videos. They're some of my favorite to film. I'm getting ready to go on vacation and so I kind of talk about some of the things that I'm preparing to go. It's just a very fun chit chat video. I also decided to pull out this palette. So this is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Face Sculpting Palette. I decided to use this palette and try that under painting makeup technique, which was actually quite fun. So we're gonna get into that. Before we jump into the application, this video is kindly in partnership with Amiro. So this is the RF Skin Rejuvenation Device. This facial device has become my best friend. So they sent this to me, I would say maybe four to five weeks now. I really wanted to try it out, really use it. I've been using it every single day since I received it. And I absolutely love this. I just feel like overall my structure of my face is stronger and tighter, especially using it every day. And I use it before I put on my makeup. It just kind of like depuffs my face. And it's so handy, so travel friendly. I definitely am planning on taking this on vacation with me, but I love how easy it is to hold. It's not too heavy, but you're able to apply the right amount of pressure over top of the skin. You guys know that I get Botox every four months, but the one thing I haven't really wanted to do is get filler. I do, I did get a little bit of filler in my lips, but as far as in my face, I've been a little bit nervous about it. And when you go that surgical route, <laughs> it's risky, especially on your face. I have a pretty strong jawline and I know that as you age that is something that you start to lose so I've been wanting to try a device like this to kind of go along that jawline and maintain that strong structure and you guys know I'm obsessed with skincare however skincare only goes so far right it can only reach the epidermis layer of the skin a device like this can reach the hypodermis layer of the skin. Using your skincare in conjunction with a device like this can help reach your absorption level that much more. So how does this device work? This handy little device, I love it, and it stays charged for a really long time, by the way, which I love. This is a radio frequency machine, RF, if you will, that uses heat to rejuvenate your skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the machine for three minutes on one side of the face just so you guys can see the instant results. When I'm done with this, my skin is much more tight, more firm and lifted. You can actually feel it working as it's gliding across the skin. I really love the gel that comes with the machine, but I've actually used it straight over my skincare. I've been using this machine for over a month now and I have seen real results. And I'm excited to continue to use the machine, and see where it takes my skin. This is the first device that I've personally used that I see immediate results right after use. This one is a very unique device in the way that it provides the six head multi-level radio frequency along with the electrical muscle stimulation. So with those combined into one, that's why I'm seeing visible results right after use. And the more that I continue to use it, the better it gets. And this is just a device that I'm personally using every morning and I absolutely love it. I feel more refreshed. My skin looks more refreshed. It just gives you instant results with a firmer, healthier looking, lifted skin. See how puffy this side is and see how like smooth this side is just from using it for three minutes. You can visibly see the difference. It's incredible. This side already looks lifted and my cheek is much more smooth. Like over here, I'm a little puffy and a little droopy. Over here, it just looks much more refreshed. I'm just gonna look straight ahead without talking. and you can feel it. It has that pulsing sensation and you can feel it. I get a little bit sensitive around here. I'm getting more used to it. When I first used it, I would use it on like level two to three and now I crank it all the way up because I've been using it for so long, but you can visibly see how much tighter this side is, right? Now up here on the screen is kind of an image diagram, if you will, kind of explaining exactly how this machine works and why it has so many benefits. All six of those electrodes 
allow the energy to go down into a deeper level of your skin cells, which will obviously allow your skin to create more collagen and lighten up those wrinkles even faster. You guys know I've had a chemical peel before. That's only gonna affect the skin, not the actual structure and the muscles and stuff. So I am so happy to have this tool in my arsenal. I just appreciate Amaro for reaching out to me, allowing me to use the device before I decided if I wanted to do the partnership, but I'm absolutely in love with it. I love how long it lasts, like the charge lasts for so long. What I also love is the charger is the same charger that I use for my phone. <laughs> so I appreciate that, that it's not some off the wall charger that I won't have handy, especially when I take it with me on vacation and stuff. Now, Amira was kind enough to give me a discount code for my audience. I will put it down here at the bottom of the screen and also down in the description box and also pin it to a comment section so that if you guys are interested in picking up one of these for yourself, you can use that discount code. Thank you again to Amira for partnering with me on this video. And thank you guys for understanding that partnerships and sponsorships are important to continue to grow my channel and and I just appreciate you guys' support and allowing me to get opportunities like this. So let's go ahead and jump into the chatty get ready with me and trying out this Makeup Forever palette. I have a lot of thoughts, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Makeup Forever actually sent this to me. This is the HD Skin Palette. It's like a sculpting face palette and this is what it looks like. I love the packaging, love it. Uh, but here are some of the details. It's a creamy, blendable formula with a 12-hour wear, naturally radiant finish, and buildable coverage. It has six shades to conceal an even skin tone, two contour shades, and four shimmering highlights. So instead of using like foundation and concealer today, I thought I would pull this out and play with it. It has neutral fair beige, neutral light beige, medium warm beige, medium cool beige, warm tan, deep neutral brown, cool tone brown, deep warm brown, a shimmering golden copper, shimmering medium gold, shimmering light gold, and shimmering pink gold. This is gonna be a fun palette to play with. Like to have it all in one, I'm kind of here for it. Brush I was thinking about using is this one from Hourglass. I just grabbed this shade right here. And I think that's a good shade for like an all over. I've never done this before, so you guys are coming along the journey with me. <laughs> I was thinking about grabbing this shade right here and just kind of tap that into my, again, I do not know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of playing around because this looks like a fun palette to kind of play around with. This is definitely more of a bronzy color, not a contour. <laughs> this is definitely a warm bronzy shade. So I'm gonna grab this contour brush from Vanity Makeup and I'm gonna grab this shade and maybe a little bit of this. We'll just see. Just to kind of hug the cheekbone in between like the contours of the face. Again, I do not know what I'm doing, obviously. I'm gonna grab the smaller contour brush from Vanity Makeup, and I think I might mix these two shades together. And, oh yeah, that's light. <laughs> that is super light. Okay, hold on. This is kind of, this is fun. It's kind of playing around with these shades and going along with it. So I'm gonna leave that for now. Now I'm gonna go in to this middle shade, grabbing it with my brush and going over the spots. Thank you. 
It does have good coverage and it's really easy to blend. The only thing that I'm concerned about is if it's refillable. Yeah, so it doesn't say that it's refillable. That I think might become an issue just because the main shade that you use for your complexion, like you might run out of that faster than you will the other shades. Do you know what I'm saying? Underpainting has been a makeup technique for years, right? Like. A lot of the makeup artists use it. I know that I first heard about it from Scott Barnes when he did um, Tati's makeup, but obviously, you know, that's been a technique that makeup artists have used for years and years and years. There is something to be said about having it kind of peek through and how it blends so well in order to do that, you know? The other thing that I'm noticing that I like right off the bat when it comes to just doing this overall is I don't feel like I'm using a lot of product. I feel like I'm using a very small amount and I'm getting good coverage, it's blending good, like I'm not really having any issues. I just feel like it looks much lighter on the skin. Um, you know, it just doesn't feel like it's makeup-y. Like I don't feel like I got a lot of makeup on. I think I'm gonna contour my nose, which I never do, because I already have a very sharp nose structure. Um, but I'm gonna grab a little bit of these two and just kind of follow that contour of the nose. I always laugh when I do contour around my nose because I literally look so ridiculous. <laughs> this is fun though. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's super fun. I, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I'll probably go off camera and do my brows just because my brow game really hasn't changed. I use the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer on, to kind of cancel out my eyelids and kind of sharpen my brow line. And then I use Charlotte Tilbury's Brow Cheat in medium brown and the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Okay, so I'm back. Eyebrows are done. Let's move on to the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use this palette. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. But because I'm wearing kind of like a peachy color shirt, I want to use this shade aisle. That's what we're gonna do. And I have a new set of lashes on and I'm gonna really, really try not to get any gunk up into my lashes because they look so pretty when they're clean. I am going to dampen my Smith 253 brush and I'm gonna go into the shade aisle and place it here on the lid. Try not to get any on my eyelashes. I don't really care if I get it like once I have had them on for several days, but this is a brand new set that I put on yesterday and I do not want to get it all junk gunked up. Do you know what I mean? Gosh, that color is so pretty. It's so springy and summery and ah, I'm here for it. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in with a blending brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right underneath it. We're getting ready to leave to go on our um, annual Florida trip. We are gonna be gone six weeks. Now my son's gonna be here at the house majority of the time just because he'll come out and visit for a week but he can't be gone the whole time we're gone so he's gonna be here at the house. My daughter is actually able to go with this this year for majority of the trip which I'm super excited about. I wish they could both be there but the craziest part about this entire thing is this year we are taking all four dogs. It's gonna be an interesting little trip. Adventure is how my husband and I are trying to look at it. We will try, do I want that color? Mm, maybe not, okay. So I grabbed this shade Muse right here with like a fluffy brush. I'm just trying to add it here. Oh, I don't know about that, but maybe I'll put the other color over top. But anyway, um, you know, at least if we have a Suburban, there's plenty of room for the dogs and 
Each of the dogs can have their own seat because they'll be seat belted in. I think the motels along the way are gonna be hard. Like once we get to Florida and once we get to the condo, it'll be fine. But I think the hotels and stuff with the dogs are gonna be difficult. I'm going into that shade um, that I put in the crease over top just to kind of blend it in. Um, but I did look it up and there are tons and tons and tons of or hotels that are dog friendly, but we have four, not two, four. And a lot of them only allow two. Um, now, fortunately, my mom and my brother are also driving out this year. So my brother wanted to take out his boat um, to Florida. So they're gonna drive out too. <laughs> so maybe we could have like two dogs in our room and two dogs with my mom. I just don't know. You guys, we are winging this whole thing and it is going to be crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna move back to this palette really quick and I'm gonna put some concealer on. Or, oh, I just dug my fingernail into that right there. I just dug it, <laughs> trying to open it up. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my concealer brush, this shade that I dug my finger in and stick it right here. Kind of tap that in. Okay, I cannot get that formula to blend. I see right here. See right here? I can't get it to like blend up and into those creases. Okay, so yeah, I don't love that on the under eyes. You can see that I still have some of the darkness, but it really does not look good underneath there, does it? But I'm kind of in it now. So I might use my own concealer. That's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna kinda wipe some of this and I'm gonna grab this concealer from Glossier. It's the Stretch, stretch Concealer. It's such a good concealer underneath the eyes, it's so natural. Speaking of my trip, my plan is I'm gonna probably do quite a bit of shorts. Like I won't have any long form content, but I plan to do shorts because I'll have my phone, I'll have my iPad, and it'll just be really, really easy to, you know, kind of film and share, and I think that's my plan. We're so excited about our trip. We just look forward to it every year, especially with all the snow that we've had this year. The fact that I knew that we were gonna be going to Florida, <laughs> it got us through the winter, because the winter has been so rough. So kind of an update on my house situation. Go back into this shade right here. So update on my house situation. As many of you guys know, we had at one point uh, right around nine to 10 feet of snow, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, a lot of it has melted, but we still have quite a bit of snow left. And we found out that our roof was leaking um, and it was leaking in the corner of my living room, which on the other side is the corner of my bedroom. So now we don't have flood insurance. We tried to get flood insurance. When we called about flood insurance, they said, oh yeah, sure, we can get you flood insurance. But then when they sent over the paperwork, they said that it would be like 500 some dollars. And once we paid the premium, it'd be paid for the year, but it did not cover for seepage or landslide, which is what we need the flood insurance for. So that was a bust, but, because this damage is from our roof, um, this is covered under insurance. So we called the insurance company, they sent out like a disaster company and the disaster company came out and I have these huge fans. So they have a section of it blocked off because it has mold. So they have a section of my bedroom and a section of my living room completely blocked off and they have these fans and it is so loud and so annoying I told my husband, I said, I have a newfound respect for people who work in like factories and, you know, industrial places where, where they have these types of noises from machines because it drives you mad. Like you can't, I have to, we have to yell to speak to each other, like in the kitchen and I'm sleeping. So he's sleeping in my daughter's room, um, which is downstairs and I'm sleeping in the spare bedroom and because it's a, they're both queen beds. So my daughter has a queen bed and the spare bedroom has a queen bed and he and I sleep on a king bed. And I don't really like sleeping with my husband in a queen bed unless I absolutely have to. I was like, 
uh, good night. I'll see you in a couple days, right? So he's sleeping downstairs and he's got the German Shepherd with him because she's, you know, follows him everywhere. And because um, she's kind of his dog. And then I have my Shih Tzu who is turning 14 this year. And my Golden Retriever who is going to be three this year. And then the puppy that's seven months old. So <laughs> it is a... It's a house full of joy, believe me. So oh, I'm kind of hoping that we get this whole thing situated and figured out um, before we leave. Like we won't have it fixed by the time we get back, but I'm hoping that they have the mold situation under control uh, before we leave. So now we still have roughly out front where the sun hits, we have about two feet of snow left, but out back, I still have three to four feet and it is slowly melting. So we have some warm days and it's slowly melting, which is what we wanted. We don't want it to melt too quickly because it will flood. Um, and we've been keeping our eye on it. So far our basement has not flooded, but it's not over yet. I'm just really hoping that it doesn't start flooding when we're gone because that would be a complete disaster. For blush, I'm gonna mix these two just because I'm extra and I'm that way, but I love this color especially in the summer, because it's kind of this burnt orange. Um, it's from Armani Beauty, they're melting blushes. It's such a unique color, it, it's so beautiful. And then I have Bellini from Danessa Myricks, which is a little brighter. So I was thinking about kind of mixing them. I kind of feel like they would be, oh yeah, that's such a pretty color. See, yeah, see, I, I love mixing stuff. It's my favorite thing. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Armani Oh, it's amazing what blush does, right? <laughs> it's amazing. Then I'm gonna dip my brush into Bellini from Demessa. Danessa, not Demessa, I don't know what I'm talking about. And go right over top, just to add a little bit of that pop. Now don't get me wrong, I'm gonna tame this down. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just kind of tap around the edges. Make sure it's blended good. I need to finish my eyes, but I got too carried away wanting to put on blush. I'm gonna put on some of my Charlotte Tilbury powder. Just to kind of calm the shine down from the foundation or concealer and foundation, I guess. I have both on right there in that area. I'm also gonna put a little bit of that finishing powder right along the center. And then I'm going to put on some translucent setting powder. I've been loving this brush from Sonia G, you guys. And what's interesting is every time I use this brush, I think about how much Mel would love this brush. Like I keep thinking about that. Like she would absolutely love this brush from Sonia because she would love to use it as a, as her buffing brush. Um, but seriously, every time I use this brush, I always think, gosh, Mel would love you. Mel would love you. <laughs> uh, I miss her every day. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put some eyelash primer on, my lower lashes. The trick with eyelash primer is to let it dry. It acts as like a thickener, kind of like a dry shampoo for your lashes. And this one I have is from Lancome. And the nice thing about this one, probably m many of them are like this, but it goes on like this white color. And then when you know it's dry as you can't see it anymore. I'm gonna add just a tiny, tiny bit of mascara on the tips of my lashes from Lashify. Which by the way, the lashes from Lashify that I'm wearing are Style C10, C12, and C14. So now I'm gonna add some mascara on my lower lashes. I think for bronzer, I'm gonna use this. I haven't used this for a while. This is the Glowish from Huda Beauty. Oh, shit. Okay, that wasn't a good idea. Oh, shit, skis. That was not a good idea. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so that happened. Whew. I think I'm gonna use this one from Chanel. This is the one I'm gonna use. This one is the darker one. It's the 395 Tan Deep Bronze. 
That was crazy how pigmented that was. Holy smokes, you guys. That was fun. I'm still kind of looking shiny. I don't feel dewy, but I'm still looking quite shiny. I don't know that I love this, to be honest with you. I'm trying to, but I'm just like, oh, I just don't know how I feel about it. I think what I'm noticing is that it's showing some texture that I'm not super in love with. Like the orange pill kind of around my face right here. And you know, I just kind of feel like it's emphasizing that a little bit. For lips, I'm gonna wear my favorite, favorite color, which is the color that I created with Christian Audette. This is Bare Nectar. Oh, I love this color. Oh, I live for this color. It is so perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to this palette and let's just see what the highlighters look like. I think I'm gonna kind of mix between, okay, so this is how the palette opens, okay? And I'm gonna mix between these two, this one and this one, which this one's kind of like a mm, candlelit glow and then the one's like more of a golden. That's, what they look like. And I think they will both work. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh crap, I brought that down too low. <laughs> that's what happens when I put stuff on with my finger. I get too carried away and then, yeah. I still feel like I need some powder right here to soften this. I just do not love the way that that formula looks on my orange pill. I'm not a fan of it. So I'm gonna use this brush from BK Beauty. This is the 110 brush, and I'm gonna dip into my Charlotte Tilbury powder. And tap that in. So that might kind of fill in some of those lines. Okay. So I'm officially done with my makeup. Let's go ahead and jump into my final thoughts. I'm gonna continue to kind of play around with this palette. It is quite dewy. You can tell that the formula is a little more emollient. So I think if you have oily skin, you may not love this. If you have combo, I would probably just put on maybe a nice, primer underneath to kind of block your oils and then powder over top, you might be okay. I like the simplicity of it, but I'm not so sure that I'm fully in love with it. It's a pretty expensive palette. If you're someone that really likes to do a lot of contouring, and if you're someone that likes to do the underpainting like makeup technique, this might be a palette that you might enjoy. I just don't know that I'm gonna reach for it all that much. I'm on the fence about it. I didn't But that's it for the video. Everything I use in today's video, I will link down in the description box down below. Thank you again to Amaro for partnering with me on this video. I definitely love this device. It is one of my new favorite skincare items and I just love how easy it is to hold on to. I love everything about this machine. I'm grateful that they allowed me to use it, play around with it, fall in love with it, so that I felt confident in sharing it with you guys because it is a great machine. That's it for the video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you, bye.